A massive overhaul of Nevada's energy grid designed to eliminate carbon emissions across the state is sitting on Governor Steve Sisolak's desk after passing both chambers of the Nevada legislature. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joining us now live at the Grant Sawyer Building with a look at the state's attempts to go green in a big way. Sean? Yeah, Dave, this potential new law would change a lot about the way that Nevada generates and moves power around the state. And uh, it's trying to do that, attempting to transition away from high carbon fossil fuels and towards more reliable, renewable energy sources. It all begins with cars. The bill directs Envy Energy to send $100 million in funding towards electric car infrastructure, like charging stations all over the state. It also boosts investment in solar technology 40% of which must go to historically un un underserved communities. The biggest investment comes with completing the state's power grid by building two massive transmission lines across the north and east sides of the state, completing a triangle. Supporters like Dan Musgrove with Nevada Building Trade says this would allow the state to build solar farms in rural counties, tap geothermal energy in the north, and pay people to make it happen. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, let's talk about getting out of a pandemic as well. And so this is important legislation. When you look at that map, those projects won't come if we can't get the electricity to the grid. And the men and women of the building trades who are a very diverse group of men and women would love to have the opportunity to get those projects on the ground and electricity, green energy into the grid. So Opponents of the bill included representatives of the Nevada Resort Association who believe that the high cost of investment to build these lines and charging stations on the front end would cause their rates to go up in the long run. They were joined by environmental advocates like Bison and Range Watch who fear that large solar transmission line or geothermal projects in rural areas could threaten animal species like a wintering bald eagle population in the north. Now that the session is over and this bill has passed both legislative chambers, the future of energy in Nevada rests on Governor Sisolak's desk. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.